Hello and welcome to another three string cigar box cigar lesson. So we're doing something slightly different today. We're going to be looking at some basic warm-up exercises. Uh, so this is the first in a series of four lessons looking at some different areas of sort of tech technique playing. Um, so this first one we're going to be looking at fretting hand hammer-ons and pull-offs. <laughs> and uh, followed by, in future videos, alternate picking and also chord strumming and also um, picking notes, chord picking, picking single notes from chords as well. But in this particular one, we're, we're looking at the hammer-ons and pull-offs and uh, I'm still actually in E open E tuning, just from the previous couple of videos I did, which is... E, B, E. But you you can play these just in any any tuning as long as it's like a sort of relative power chord tuning, basically, because that, as I always say, it forms an open string power chord. Uh, but the standard one we, we're often in is G D G. So. These will also work fine in that, or you can even go for the lower pitch DAD that we've done in some recent videos as well. And um, for, for all four lessons, there's uh, a PDF on the website which uh, covers all, all of the exercises. Uh, it's available for download, so uh, if you're interested in checking it out, it's quite, quite helpful to accompany all of these videos. So uh, you can go through the website, follow that link. Uh, much appreciated, helps support the channel. But that's about it, so let us get straight on with exercise number one. All right, so on to exercise one. Now, like I was saying, this is flat pick playing, so nothing to do with finger style. So plectrum, flat pick playing, and fretted notes. Uh, there is a good sort of beginner level a lesson, which is looking at Sunshine You Love by Cream, so you can check the link to that if you feel that you're not that experienced and you, you want to look at the absolute basics. But uh, we'll just dive straight in here, and we're going to start off with a minor pentatonic. And it sort of carries on up like that. So this particular one, we've got open bottom string. I, I, I won't say the names of the notes because you can do this in different tuning. Okay, so we've got open lowest string, fret three, fret five on that same string and then open middle string, and then fret three, fret five, and then top string, and same deal, open, fret three, fret five, so very, very repetitive pattern here. And what we're doing is we're gonna be hammering on, going up, so that's from low to high, and then pulling off high to low, and I'm, I'm gonna be using uh, fingers one and three entirely for this one. One and three work really, well so index and ring finger they work really well for sort of bluesy you know rocky type riffs that type of thing so i'm gonna pluck the open string and tap on to fret three and then i'm going to pluck fret three and tap on to fret five now, I'll, I'll cover the picking and what have you in a minute, but to start with, we've just got open, hammer on, and then fret three, fret five, hammer on. And then you just do the same thing on the next two strings. So open, fret three, hammer on, three to five, hammer on, and then open, three to five. So go as slowly as you want with that to start with. Incidentally, watch the action of your, particularly for this one, using hammer-ons and pull-offs, because it's the, the fret, fretting hand's going to have the hardest job out of all, all, all of these uh, exercise series that we're looking at. So make sure you, your action's not too high, otherwise you'd be really working quite hard. Okay. Um, now... When you're playing riffs, and this is definitely riffs because it's based around a scale, 
it's quite good if you rest somewhere close to your bridge. Don't sort of be like this because you, you want to be picking using that sort of motion. So it's like a straight up and down motion as opposed to like twisting from your wrist. Okay, so anchor somewhere around there. And then just down strokes to start with is fine. But go, go as slow as you want with that. And then, I'll just sort out this focus here a minute. Let's try and reverse that. So this time it's gonna be a flick off, a pull off. So I, I'm actually fretting both of these at the same time and I'm just flicking off to fret finger one on fret three from finger three on fret five. And then I'm flicking off from fret three to the open string. And then exactly the same on the middle string. Exactly the same on the bass string. Okay, so when you pull off, now I'm deliberately not making a, a loud sound with the hammer on there. It's a pluck. When you pull off, it's a pluck. So if you're pulling off to a fretted note, this one needs to be in place just as you pull off. And then, so basically what you're doing is you are like flicking probably like a sort of 45, I'll do it from this angle as well, 45 angle, uh, degree angle. So you can hear a bit of a ping, a slight attack on the note. Uh, and then you try and do the same thing. Sometimes when you're doing to the open string, you can be resting here. So you kind of flick slightly. I'm trying to move your thumb, that was an exaggeration. So. Okay. Try that up and down. And then finally, you just want to introduce the alternate picking. So that would just be down, up for each string. So down, up, down, up, down, up. And then the old, uh, coming back down, pull off, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's probably far too fast. So I would take your time with it. But let's just try that from a different angle. I'll just go around that one more time. Okay, so. I'll just do down strokes to start with. So hammer on, hammer on, hammer on, hammer on, hammer on. And then pull off. So you can see that. So it's like a, don't pull straight downwards, pull out pull out slightly. Okay, so pull off. But probably go much slower than that to start with. When you get used to it, you, you want to try and play it in time so that little by little you can increase the speed. This is the same with all of the exercises. Go slowly, but with a regular pulse. You know, so so you're not you're not pausing for any difficult parts, uh, but you gradually increase the tempo, and you know until you you're able to sort of play smoothly at faster tempos. But you're only going to get up to there if you actually sort of build it up in stages. So on the score on on the exercise tabs, uh, it says start at 50 BPM, increase speed gradually. Um, so. If you do that either with a metronome or uh, maybe even better use a drum beat, uh, you, can, you can find them on YouTube or you can get a smartphone app. It's quite helpful because normally your hi hats that on the drum beat, which are the, the two symbols t -t 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 sandwiched together, uh, you can you can try and match up the, the speed of those with all of your notes, which would be quite useful. But go around that 
and straight on to exercise two. And what we're going to be doing is a series of hammer-ons and pull-offs. And you can call a series of hammer-ons and pull-offs a trill. So I'm starting off with my first finger at fret seven and I'm going to use finger two on fret eight. Now this is what we call a chromatic thing where it doesn't sound particularly musical but it's quite good to play like adjacent frets next door to each other with all four fingers so you're giving them all a workout so it's a really really good warm-up this and so that's a double trill so or double hammer on and pull off and then I'm just gonna do exactly the same with finger three on fret three finger four Sorry, that's not fret three, that's fret nine. And finger four on fret 10. Back to fret nine. Okay, and we can maybe just go around that again. So let's try it from a different angle. Okay, so we've got. I don't know if you can see exactly how flat that first finger is. So I'm not, so when you're playing chords, you're very much like fretting with the tip of your finger. But here, if you're playing single note riffs, it can be quite good to have a much flatter angle than normal. So I'm, I'm using less of the, the tip of my finger and more, more round to the pad on the side and it just keeps it more solid because if you're on the tip you can be bending the string quite easily that is much more much more solid and so when <laughs> you're doing things with other fingers that doesn't move it's a really good sort of foundation okay uh, but with these ones you can be sort of curled round slightly more than your first one find whatever's comfortable but what is important is to don't be tense. You've got to be as relaxed as possible when you're doing these. You don't want these fingers one and two to kind of be stuck together. Get some space between your knuckles and that, that means that you have to be more relaxed. If, if your hand looks like that, then it's relaxed. If it looks like this, if it looks like that, it's definitely not. Okay. And then the second half of the exercise is just kind of working different combinations of fingers. So we're going to keep fingers one and two fretted now. And I'm going to be trilling with my third finger. So that's seven and eight, and this is on fret nine. All right. And then I can even use finger four on fret 10. Still, still holding these two down. And then I can use keep finger three where it is. Uh, sorry, all, all, all three fingers fretted and then just trill with your little finger. It's quite difficult that. So I'll just show you that. These two fretted. And then finger four. And then three fingers fretted and so this is basically just work give working all of your fingers in different combinations you know because you, you may well be on a chord and you, you, you want to you want to use like different combinations of fingers so that's kind of fingers two and three working against each other whereas that was almost fingers one and four working against each other so that it's re re really good sort of like warm-up and uh, keep them quite flat you don't want to be like that okay Right, so exercise number three, this is using a, a seven note scale. Okay, so it's not quite a major scale. It's basically, it's a, 
a, G, a major scale with a, um, a seventh note that's one step lower, so it's called a mode. And basically, uh, again, I, I, won't, I won't say what the names of the notes are because I'm in E tuning, but you may well be in G tuning when you're trying to play this. So we've got uh, open string one, fret two, fret four, fret five, fret seven, fret nine, fret 10, and fret 12. So that fret 10 is, is one step lower than normal. That's a straight seven note major scale, finishing it off. That's a mode. It's got... Um it's got a quite, quite a nice sort of strong sound to it. So it's called a Mixolydian mode. Uh, might do a lesson on that at some point, but we're just using this for the time being because it's got a slightly more bluesy character to it. So there's a G and uh, sorry, that's a, a fretted note in the middle, a root note. And so it would be two steps lower. And fret two, open. I'm, I'm just dragging against this low one. Going up, so that's five, three, two, open. Going up, it's five, seven, nine, 10, 12. Okay, so we're going to use all of those in combination, but like little uh, pos sort of position boxes, like what people would do if they, they were doing sort of faster runs in solos, that kind of thing. Right, so the first one is like this. Okay, now the first two exercises, you could definitely do those if you're a beginner with a bit of practice. This one is possibly slightly more difficult, so if you've not been playing for that long, maybe something to aim to work towards, but don't worry if you find this too difficult at the minute. So, frets 10 and 12, or 12 and 10, pull off, just the top two strings only, pull off, pull off on the middle string, reverse it, hammer on, fret 10, and then pull off, pull off, hammer on, 10, 12, I better do that again. Two pull offs, 12, 10, middle string, 12, 10, two, a hammer on, middle string, 10, 12, 10 on its own, then two pull offs again. and then hammer on. So it's kind of sort of snaking around, sort of off, off and on the beat that. When you have got it, again, we'll do alternate picking. So we'll go down, up, down, So there's two places where there are two picked notes that are right next to each other. So that's when the alternate really works, when we go faster. Okay, so we'll just do that again. So pull off, pull off, hammer, pick, pull off, pull off, hammer, pick, pick. Once you get used to it, it's the sort of phrase where it kind of works quite nicely, you know, sort of throwing it into the middle of solos, things like that. And so what we're doing is we're just taking that whole pattern and we're moving it down in different sort of boxes. So the next one is 10 to 9, exactly the same pattern, pull off, pull off, hammer, pick, pull off, pull off. 
off, hammer, pick, pick, and again, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, nine to seven, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, seven to five, down, So what I'm doing at the beginning is using fingers one and three. When they're just one fret apart on frets 10 and nine, I'm using fingers two and one. So this is also giving uh, you different combination fingers uh, pre practice doing the pull-offs and hammer-ons next to each other. So two and one, uh, back to two frets apart. So fingers three and one on frets seven, nine and seven and three and one again on frets seven and five. Same pattern as what you did right at the top. But here, we're now gonna go to five and four and then three, uh, sorry, five and three. Five and four, five and three. So I'm gonna use my, that's the frets, and I'm gonna use my third finger to my second, my third to my first. So pull, off, pull, off, hammer, pick, pull, off, pull, off, hammer. Pick, pick at the end. difficult this next one's quite tough now again I was talking about the the action on your guitar so as you get further down the neck it's gonna feel tougher to play if you've got a high action now this one's difficult because we're going four two that's the frets and I'm going to use fingers three and one but then I'm going to use frets five and three and just for practice to get Get my fingers nice and nimble. I'm going to use fingers four and two here on on the fifth and the third frets. So it's pull off, pull off, hammer, pick, pull off, pull off, hammer, pick, pick, with down. Last one, we'll use we'll, we'll use uh, frets two and four again, four and two, and then three to the open. So pull, off, pull, off to the open, hammer on from the open, pick, pull, off, pull, off. And then just to finish off, we, we can kind of form a little uh, F shape. Sorry, it's a in standard tuning in G D G. That'd be an F shape, which is frets three and two. Uh, here it's a D if I'm in E tuning. So it's basically frets two and three. Move up to frets five and four, which is your standard kind of root chord. So no, I'm in E, so that's an E chord. If you're in G, that'd be a G chord. Let's do the whole lot.
Okay, so that is about it. I hope that was useful and uh, I hope that helps with your general fretting hand playing. Um, so check the site and uh, look out for like the, the next three um, exercises that will be coming this way soon. Uh, like we were saying on alternate picking and then chord strumming and then picking single notes from chords as well. And uh, please consider downloading the score to accompany all of these. Be uh, much appreciated. And we shall see you here again soon on Code of Guitar.